Personal jurisdiction is a limit on a court's power. Without it, a court can't adjudicate the party's rights. In Insurance Corporation of Ireland v. Compagnie de Bossy de Guinée, recalcitrant defendants wouldn't hand over discovery establishing whether they had minimum contacts with the forum state. So the trial court couldn't determine whether it had personal jurisdiction over them. Fed up, the court imposed a sanction assuming the facts needed for personal jurisdiction. Can a court establish personal jurisdiction by sanction? Compagnie de Bossy de Guinée, which we'll call CBG, operates bauxite mines in Guinea. CBG obtained business interruption insurance worth $20 million from a group of insurers that included foreign companies. CBG had mechanical problems that halted production at the mine and sought payment under the policy. When the insurers refused to pay, CBG filed suit in a Pennsylvania federal court. The foreign insurers, including Insurance Corporation of Ireland, claimed that the court lacked personal jurisdiction and later moved for summary judgment on that basis. CBG, seeking to establish personal jurisdiction, sought discovery involving the insurer's contacts with Pennsylvania. The insurers repeatedly failed to produce the requested materials. The court warned the insurers that if they didn't comply with its orders, the court would assume, pursuant to Rule 37 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, that it had personal jurisdiction. The insurers didn't comply, and the court issued the sanction, holding that it had personal jurisdiction. The Second Circuit affirmed. The Supreme Court granted cert.